So here we are, the first ever uh, public vote final 20 announcement. It's particularly exciting for me as the likelihood of my m mispronouncing a name has now doubled. Uh, and it's likely. So apologies in advance. Um, as you may know, we decided this year to make some changes, to tinker with the Art Prize model and try something new. At Art Prize, we're constantly asking questions, analyzing data, studying voter patterns, attendance numbers, and of course, tra tracking the overall conversation about art and why it matters. But while Art Prize is proud to be agile, to consider and adapt changes every year, we are driven and inspired by the thousands of artists and hundreds of venues who change, adapt, take risks, and ultimately practice the relentless curiosity at the core of this incredible event. To all the artists and venues of Art Prize 2014, thank you. There's a collective curiosity that transforms this city each year at our prize. And thanks to the tireless efforts of all of our volunteers, sponsors, and partners like the city of Grand Rapids, our prize 2014 has experienced record attendance thanks to and in spite of our gloriously unpredictable weather. Not even a frigid driving rain can keep the most ardent art prize fans away. Why is it? Why do people dive into this event so completely? How is it that a presidential museum could register a single day's attendance that is 4,000 people more than a sold out Van Andel Arena show? And that was on a Monday. Why is it that a growing network of international artists and a passionate and committed assembly of venues and curators are met by a migration of visitors from every corner on, on earth? I believe it is simple, curi simple curiosity that drives all of this. It fuels both the artist and the viewer. And as much as it is a marker of individual individuality, curiosity, when celebrated and rewarded, can unite us and foster an atmosphere of empathy and respect. Thank you, all of you, for being curious and for the courage it takes to follow it and discover something new. Thank you. And now to help me announce the public vote finalists of Art Prize 2014, please help me welcoming back Christian Gaines. Uh, once again, on behalf of the entire Art Prize organization, I would like to thank and recognize all artists and venues for their dedication to this event. Thank you all very, very much. All right, let's get down to business. When artists registered for the 2014 Art Prize competition, they were required to select one of four categories that they felt best described their work. And over the last 11 days, the public voted for their favorites of the 1,536 entries. And now it is mine and Rick's pleasure to share with you, in random order, the five artist entries to receive the most votes in their respective artwork category. As Todd said earlier, if any finalists are in attendance today, please meet Heather. She's down there in the front. In the front, right there. She's right there. Um, as soon as your name is announced, and please come forward so we can personally congratulate you and give you your finalist seal. We'll start off with the two-dimensional work category presented by Foremost Insurance. The two-dimensional category includes work that exists primarily on a flat plane, painting, drawing, photography, printmaking, and most textiles are examples of two-dimensional work. The 2014 public vote two-dimensional finalists are Fritz Hunderwanger, Autumn's Passage, showing at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel. Armin Mersman for Gabriella, showing at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel. Sandra Bryant, Into the Autumn Woods, showing at DeVos Place. Gretchen, 
Gretchen, Gretchen Lauer for Outcry, showing at DeVos Place. Mark Middleton, Perspective, showing at the Bob. Congratulations to all of the two-dimensional public vote finalists. The next public vote category is three-dimensional works presented by Deloitte. The three-dimensional category includes entries that occupy space and are intended to be viewed from multiple angles. Sculptures that are not site-specific belong in the 3D category. The 2014 public vote three-dimensional finalists are Mark Saijan, Reciprocity, showing at the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Dan Heffron with Poseidon's Paradise, showing at the Bob. Dominic Pangborn, Michigan in Motion, showing at DeVos Place. Jilly Barnes, Engulfed in Glass, showing at the Gerald R. Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Brian Reith, The Pond, showing at Amway Grand Plaza Hotel. Congratulations to all the three-dimensional public vote finalists. The next public vote category is time-based, which includes entries that are durational and change over time. The viewer has to spend some time with the work to fully view it. This includes performance, video and film, dance, music, and interactive work. The 2014 public vote time-based finalists are Nathan Larau, Urban Tumbleweed, showing at Cathedral Square. Liz Roberts, Always Nowhere, showing at the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Robert Shangle, Your Move, showing at the Harris Building. New D Media with Parallax, showing at the Urban Institute for Contemporary Arts. Carol Rhoda, Color Out the Darkness, showing at Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Congratulations to all the time-based public vote finalists. Our final public vote category is installation, which includes entries that are dependent on the site in which they are installed. The location is not a neutral ground, but makes up an important ingredient of the work. Installation is different from 3D in that changing the location of the piece would dramatically change the work itself. The 2014 public installation finalists are Anila Kumaga, Intersections, showing at the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Ryan Spencer Reed, despite similarities to, similarities to reality, this is a work of fiction, showing at the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Kevin Sudyth. Grand River Fish Petroglyph, showing at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Dave McKenzie with Breathe, showing at the Bob. Solo and Kojima, a series of handmade Japanese paper cut sculptures, showing at the, Grand, the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Congratulations to all the installation public vote finalists and for all of our finalists in the final 20 this year. Thank you very much. I do have to apologize with one correction. Uh, the Pond is by the Cruzy crew, not by Brian Reith. There's two entries this year called The Pond. The finalist. Uh, this year is the Cruzy Crew that is showing at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel, to make that clear. Sorry for that, that error. Well, thank you all for uh, attending today. 
Now, if you're wondering to yourself, why, why these finalists? It's okay, that's good, it's because you're curious. And uh, we have an event actually called Why These Finalists. It's part of our Critical Discourse series. Over two nights, we'll be having our critics review, uh, skewer, and praise both the public vote and jury award finalists in a lively, humorous, and irreverent debate. The shows will take place at 7 p.m. Monday and Tuesday night at the Art Prize Hub, and will be broadcast live on Wood TV 8. Tomorrow night, the critics will be reviewing the three-dimensional and time-based categories, and they are Scott Stulen, a curator of audience experiences and performances at the Indianapolis Museum of Art, Patty Johnson, art critic and founder, founder and editor of Art F City, based in New York, and Miranda Lash, curator of contemporary art at the Speed Art Museum in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm very excited to say that on Tuesday night, uh, to cover the two-dimensional install and installation categories, we're thrilled to welcome back to Art Prize Jerry Saltz, senior art critic for New York Magazine. He'll be joined by Nicole Carruth, art writer, curator, and editor of Art21 Magazine, Mia Lopez, curatorial fellow for visual arts at the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And finally, please remember that round two voting opens at 3 p.m. today. And in the second round of voting, you cast one vote for as many of the 20 finalists as you like. You could vote 20 times, but we hope you'll consider works that are most compelling to you and vote only for them. You can vote by text message online at artprize.org or by mobile app. Remember to register while you are here in person at the Art Prize event. You can register to vote at any exhibition center, like right there at the Graham, but it has a little bit of a line, uh, or at the Art Prize hub or through the Art Prize mobile app. Round two voting ends at 11.59 p.m. on October 9th, and on October 10th, we'll be announcing all winners at the sixth annual Art Prize Awards. We'll be having one big ballyhoo right here at Rosa Parks Circle that night, and I really hope that you will join us. Thank you for coming. Now please, go see art and vote. <laughs>